Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff for Guys. Today we're taking a look at my truck and one of my favorite options. No, not the daylighters. My worn winch. This one is the HS 9500i, which is the high speed, 9500 pound, intermittent duty rating. Um, one of the things I liked about this winch when I when I got it was that it's got 125 feet of line. Granted, it's slightly less diameter and less capacity, but 125 feet is a lot. And I want to say when you stepped up to the next line, it really cut you back down to I want to say 85 or 90 feet of cable. And I just uh, I wanted that extra line. So big fan. I've got this mounted in the cradle. And it's in a, a two inch receiver, if you can see that. Got it all locked up so, no, so it doesn't go disappearing. And uh, this is my quick disconnect cable for it. Now I spent a couple extra bucks and got the two inch hitch in the front so that I could mount that cradle in. And the main reason I did that was so that I could mount it in my rear hitch where I also have uh oh, it's tucked up in here somewhere. But I have the, the same power connection. I, oh, here it is right here. I guess I should have prepped this before I shot the video. But, long story short, come on now. Why is it stuck on something? Oh, well, I got a zip tied up there so it won't fall down. But I've also got, there it is right there, my connection. So that when, if I need to, I can move the winch to the back of the truck and operate it from back here. So if I pull into a, a, a hole too deep, ideally I've got the winch in the back of the truck, not on the front where it's down underwater. I can pull it out and use it to pull myself backwards. So a lot of flexibility, a lot of uh, options. Um, Hell, I was I wanted to get my buddy's truck uh, wired up. You know, now I can now I can spend a couple extra dollars, get my buddy's truck wired up, and then I can throw it on his truck to winch me out if I need to. So, like I said, a lot of flexibility. I liked it. Uh, Warren actually recommends that you do not drive with it installed, which I thought was asinine. They claimed that these welds on the bottom here could potentially crack. I've had this one on for about three or four years, probably got about 50,000 miles on it. No cracks. So I'm feeling pretty confident that uh, there's not going to be any problems in the future. So if you're looking for a winch with a little flexibility, this might be a good option for you. Let me know what you think, and if you want to see anything else, just let me know. Have a good one.